Welcome to UT Libraries. Hodges Library is located near the center of campus off Volunteer Boulevard and Melrose Avenue, right next to the pedestrian walkway. This video will give you a brief tour of the library, including 10 spaces and services you'll want to know about. The Public Services Desk is located at the Melrose entrance on the second floor. This is where you can come to check out books, ask questions about the library, and get research help. You can check out a book with your vault card at the desk or use the self-checkout machines. If you don't have time to get to the library in person, remember you can always chat with us online by clicking the chat button on the library's website at lib.utk.edu. Directly across from the public services desk, you can grab some coffee from Starbucks and get snacks and supplies from the pod market. In the study room behind Starbucks, you'll find our new lactation room. This area was added to the library recently and is open to anyone needing a space for breastfeeding or pumping. If you exit Starbucks and walk past the elevators, you will enter the Hodges Library Commons, located on either side of the hallway. The Commons includes a large variety of study areas with various services and creative spaces available. On both sides of the Commons, you'll find computers that you can access using your NetID and password. You can also use the printers in this area with your vault card funds. Additionally, you can find study rooms available around the perimeter of the commons that can be reserved on the library's website. In the Morgan Commons North, you can find the OIT Help Desk, where you can get assistance with your computer, your email account, and your NetID. If you ever have issues logging into your email or Canvas, this is where you'll want to visit. Beside the OIT Help Desk is the Lab Services Desk. The staff here can provide assistance with the computers and printers that are found throughout the commons. Near the back of the commons on this side, you'll also find lots of academic support resources, including the Writing Center, Math Tutorial Center, Stat Lab, Student Success Center, and more. In the Mitchell Jarrett Commons South across the hall, you can find the Equipment Checkout Desk, where you can borrow laptops, cameras, and other equipment with your vault card. There's also the Studio, which has computers with special software for audio, video, and graphics editing, as well as other types of projects. The Studio offers large format printing, a whisper room and audio recording booths, and a virtual reality room. You can reserve the whisper booth, recording booths, and VR room online. Did you know that our library has specific floors for quiet study and group study? Floors 1, 4, and 5 are for quiet study, while floors 2, 3, and 6 are for group study. You can find a list of quiet and group study floors in each elevator, and whenever you exit the elevators on floors 3 through 6, there will be a sign indicating if the floor is for quiet or group study. As we move down to the first floor of the library, here you can find the one stop on the lowest floor at the Volunteer Boulevard entrance. This is where you can get information about course registration and paying student fees and tuition. This area also includes the Veterans Resource Center. If you go up the stairs from the one stop, you'll find the Betsy B. Creekmore Special Collections area. This includes the display area as well as a space for you to get help with accessing our special collections. Our collections have documents relating to the history of the University of Tennessee, artifacts from Tennessee history, and collections relating to the Civil War. Additionally, you can find documents on Tennessee authors, papers and documents relating to Clarence Brown, William Bass, and Charlie Daniel, as well as many other rare books and materials. On the first floor, you'll also find the Paul M. and Marion T. Miles reading room and study area. The reading room on the first floor is for quiet study. This space includes comfortable booths and chairs, in addition to some computers and printers that you can use as well. Beside the reading room, you'll find our newly added Graduate Commons. This room is only for use by graduate students currently taking courses and can be accessed using your vault card. If you need a break from studying, you can find the Silent Room on the fifth floor. This space can be used for quiet meditation or contemplation. Did you know that there are other libraries on campus aside from Hodges? You can find the George F. Devine Music Library on the first floor of the Natalie Haslam Music Building. This library has extensive collections of musical scores, books, DVDs, CDs, and more. This includes music streaming resources that you can access online. Another one of our branch libraries is located on the Agricultural Campus. 
The Pendergrass Agricultural and Veterinary Medicine Library has spaces for studying, collections focused on agriculture and veterinary medicine, cookbooks, a leisure reading section, and more. Here you can also find large format printing, 3D printers, and a maker lab. That's what you need to know to get started using the spaces at UT Libraries. If you would like more information, please visit our website at lib.utk.edu where you can find many different ways to get in touch.